beheading. One of the most interesting Islamic punishments is beheading. Quran 8.12 Remember when your Lord inspired to the angels, I am with you, so strengthen those who have believed. I will cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieved, so strike them upon the necks and strike from them every fingertip. This is the Quranic verse used to justify beheading. Some Muslims excuse this on the grounds that this was because there was a war going on at the time. But the Quran is supposed to be for all people and all times, so that excuse doesn't wash. It's also worth pointing out that Saudi Arabia still cuts off people's heads. 146 in the year 2017 and 48 in the first four months of 2018. ISIS does too, but it's generally agreed that ISIS are a bunch of nutters, so whatever they do isn't evidence. Iran did beheadings until quite recently, the last being in 2001. In Qatar and Yemen, it is part of the legal system, but it hasn't been used for a while. But how barbaric is it, really? Remember that the death penalty is still a thing in many semi-civilised countries, such as the USA. If you're going for judicial execution, is there a good way? In England, we used to mostly use hanging, with beheading reserved for the aristocracy. We also did burning and drowning. And from descriptions of hangings at the time, it was a rather horrible way to die. It wasn't usually a quick death, but a slow strangulation. If you had friends, they would pull on your legs to make it faster. Whereas beheading, if the axeman did it right, was quick and clean. In America, they used to hang. Then the electric chair, mostly promoted by people with a vested interest in showing that electricity was dangerous. A lethal injection, which is very often a bodged job. Plus, supplies of suitable lethal chemicals are getting harder to buy, because who would want to sell something that is only going to be used to kill people? France, of course, invented Madame la Guillotine. That seems to me to be a very good way, if good is the right word, to execute someone. It's quick, it's reliable, and no special skills are needed to use it. Today, of course, the death penalty is no longer a thing in any civilised country. The European Convention on Human Rights has outlawed it. If you're going to have a death penalty, then surely it's best to make it as quick and as painless as possible. And beheading, preferably by guillotine, is, I think, the best way. But it's all very nasty. For Allah knows best. Thanks for watching this video. If you would like to discuss this with me, you'll find me on Facebook in the Religion Discussion Group. See you there.